Are you about to put an offer on a property that has a pool? If you are, I'm going to help you decide if you need a home inspector to look at your pool or you need a pool company to come and look at your pool. So what are the difference between a home inspector and a pool company? A, pool, a home inspector is going to look at the pool, determine just the general, the general structural performance of the pool. He'll operate your equipment and just to make sure everything is operational and functioning. A pool technician or a pool company can come in and give you prices on everything they find and then also they can do a more detailed intrusive test so they can take things apart and they can the main thing is they can give you prices so a home inspector he's going to come out and identify problems and say hey you need a pool technician a pool technician is going to be able to identify problems and give you solutions all right so in this video i'm going to give you five steps as a home buyer to determine if you need a pool technician or a home inspector. All right, let's go check it out. All right, step one, what I want you to do is actually just look at the inside structure of the pool. What you're gonna do is you're just looking for any type of surface defects or cracking. Super easy to spot. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to find anything like that. You're literally just looking for a crack. This pool is great. This is something that where my buyer could have easily skipped us and gone straight to our pool company because we so, we noticed not just one little crack, we noticed about a crack at every corner of this structure. So they could have easily skipped us, gone straight to the pool company and paid more money for a pool company to come out to start giving them estimates on how much it would cost to repair this pool. Okay. All right, step two, I want you to look out the outside structure just to see if you notice any types of cracks there too. Not just in the deck cracks right here, but mainly with the main structure cracks. Anything that's directly in contact with the pool, this is an easy spot right here. You can see that the whole structure is actually upheavaled and leaning inward, and that's part of the reason why we have cracks on the inside too. So somewhere you have either an underground pool leak or some sort of plumbing leak causing the structure to move in a significant manner. So easy. You can skip the home inspector with this spot too. Again, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to find this either. Step four, what I would look at is your actual control box of your equipment. I don't have, you don't need to open it up. You don't need to do anything. Just look at it. Is it hanging off the wall? Is it heavily rusted? This one actually looks in pretty good condition. Uh, we did find some defects with this one, but it's something a home inspector can easily identify it and you don't need a pool, a pool technician. We eventually called out a pool technician for it, but you wouldn't know this, but as a general scan, as a buyer, I'd say this looks okay. All right, step five, a uh, pretty easy step. What I'd say is maybe just look at the pool lights. If you see water filling up in the pool lights or they look old, corroded, they're probably not working. And that alone is not a cheap bill by itself. You're talking like $800 to fix a pool light, or at least that's the bill in Houston. It might be cheaper ever, other places, but I've seen bills around $800 just to fix the pool lights. All right, so those are some quick, easy steps. Those are five steps that I would follow. Just as a quick scan, you're about to put an offer on and determining who you want to hire. Do you need to hire a home inspector to look at your pool or do you need to hire a pool company? A pool company will be more money, but you're gonna to have to spend the same amount of money anyways if you have to hire the home inspector first. Does that, does that sound right? Hey, it's close enough, you get what I mean. So that's uh, Chris with Day Action. If you like these types of videos, please uh, hit that subscribe button and the bell, and then we'll go from there. All right, catch you on the next one. Bye.